Hello friends. In our previous lesson we proved that a diagonal of a parallelogram divides it into two congruent triangles. For example, diagonal AC divides the parallelogram ABCD into two congruent triangles. Triangle ABC and CDA are congruent. This is what we learnt in our earlier lesson. And we know corresponding sides and angles of congruent triangles are equal. So, AB is equal to DC, the corresponding sides of congruent triangles. And BC is equal to AD. They are also corresponding sides of two congruent triangles. But look, we just got that opposite sides of this parallelogram ABCD are equal. So, in a parallelogram, opposite sides are equal. It is the most important property of a parallelogram. Now let's prove the opposite. Means if each pair of opposite sides of a quadrilateral are equal, then it is a parallelogram. We take a quadrilateral ABCD in which AB is equal to DC and AD is equal to BC. That is each pair of opposite sides are equal. Now, we draw AC as the diagonal. Triangle ABC and CDA are congruent because AB is equal to DC and BC equal to AD which is given and AC is the common side. So, it satisfies SSS rule. So, all the corresponding sides are equal. So, the triangles are congruent. So, angle CAB is equal to angle ACD as they are corresponding sides of the congruent triangles. But they are alternate angles. See, AC intersects the line AB and DC and alternate angles are equal. So, AB is parallel to DC. Same way, angle BCA is equal to angle DAC as they are corresponding sides of congruent triangle and they are alternate angles. See, AC intersects the line pair BC and AD and alternate angles are equal. So, BC is parallel to AD. So, as opposite sides are parallel, hence it is a parallelogram. So, we can easily say if each pair of opposite sides of a quadrilateral are equal, then it is a parallelogram. That's all for now. Bye-bye.